military stalemate that would result in the survival of Hitlerism. That is the opinion of a man who knows. Douglas Miller, for 15 years commercial attaché to the American Embassy in Berlin. Presenting a radio series entitled, You Can't Do Business with Hitler. Episode 5, Mass Murder. Douglas Miller speaking. Hitler's new order for Europe provides for the expansion of Germany until Germans occupy all of Europe. Not only for the present, but for all time. But to claim all Europe, Hitler must eliminate its present population. Thus, for Hitler and his followers, organized, systematic, unemotional mass murder and depopulation have become the means of getting rid of captive peoples and dispelling forever any threat to Hitler's new order. Radio. It was announced in Berlin tonight that 150 Poles have been executed for impeding the German advance in Russia. It was admitted tonight in Berlin, 123 Czechs were executed last week. Among them were many prominent citizens. Radio Italiana. From Croatia comes the report that 180,000 Serbs have been executed since the early part of August. Radio Berlin. The Ministry of Propaganda announced today that 1,000 were executed throughout Europe during the past week for acts of rebellion and sabotage against the German Reich. I have hit that. These are factual reports from the capitals of Europe. But it is wrong for us to assume that these reports of executions and depopulation are isolated acts of terror to quell rebellion. I claim they go much deeper than that, and I can prove it. I claim that these executions are a result of the Nazis' deliberate and fundamental policy of exterminating racial groups, a scientific plan to get rid of so-called inferior peoples so that German farmers and workers may occupy the conquered land. The Nazis have developed no standard technique of depopulation. They use whatever means are available. They merely select an area that is desirable to them and ruthlessly get rid of its inhabitants either by shifting them to other localities or by executing them. The harsh extermination of the people of Abbeville in occupied France, which took place in January 1941, is typical. Abbeville, the coast of France, January 1941. Uh, it's nice to drop a hook into the water again, eh, Jacques? Uh, even knowing the Nazis have dragged us home and taken every fish does not matter. Man does not need fish. Fish, we, a little line, a pole, and even if only a bent pin. You go. We, I think you have caught something. Jack, you have caught a fish. Even a little one. No, you're a big one. Deal. Jack, that is not a fish. No? Look there, in the water, alone. A body. Look, there are many of them. Many of them. You go. We must leave this place. Come. Shall we stop on the bridge, Marie? They say we can throw a shoe in the sun right at this spot. Any wish you make will come true. May I have a shoe, I feel? <laughs> Shall I throw it? Right over there, I feel. I see. Something? Yes. In the water. What's with them? No? I see it. What does it mean? I don't know. I think we are in danger. Come. Well, we lost time, Marcel. Take your cap and go away. There are no room here. Oh, did not. He told me to bring them here. You know what will happen if I disobey? What can I do with them? The mug is back to the raft already. Oh, you must take them. It will be bad for you, too. Very yeah, well. How many do you have? Thirty. All from the river? The scum. Mm. Nine hundred bodies in the scum, this man. What is happening? Mm. 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 You will make your report, please, Herr Pillow. 876 is my mug, if you please. 
876. Good. 876 plus 12,094. You are excused. If you please, monsieur. What is that? Some suicide. You say 12,000? The French are a peculiar race. They are like sheep. When one sees another doing something, well... There must be something wrong, monsieur. Those I have examined have been hit in the head. They were dead before they were in the water. Really? Here below, perhaps you need a geography lesson. The storm is full of rocks. If one were to jump into the river, he would surely crack his head on the rocks. Come, I will show you how simple it is. Conceivable? You need proof? I have proof. A German-controlled newspaper, Nouveau Temps, published in occupied Paris, reported on the 16th of January, 1941, and I quote, Half the population of the town of Abbeville on the Channel Coast has disappeared in a strange suicidal way that caused the inhabitants of this town to throw themselves into the swamp. End quote. Suicide indeed. The Germans admit that autopsies of the bodies reveal that nearly all of the so-called suicides had been hit on the head with a blunt instrument. Now, why were the people of Abbeville depopulated? Because Abbeville is a channel town needed to house troops for possible invasion of Britain, and because the once prosperous town is to become German. But there are other ways of Nazi depopulation. Less melodramatic, just as it is. Starvation, exposure, disease. In conquered Greece, which never had enough food, starvation was the method. By overthought of requisition, all the food in this house, Fraulein. You will gather everything edible and place it on the table. Here, hurry. We have nothing to do with We are poor. Very well. I will search myself. But I am telling the truth. All we have is a few potatoes. So let's get at once. The German army of occupation is requisitioning all the food in Greece. You will be made no exception. But it's all we have. What shall we do? I am sorry, Fraulein. But you must realize that there are at present twice as many Greeks as we need here. Half must die. The rich shall become poor and the poor shall die. That is our policy. Incredible? Want to? Then see Time magazine for November 24th, 1941. And it's not only to Greece that starvation is being applied as an instrument of extermination, but to Poland, Czechoslovakia, and Norway as well. Yet, this is only a fragment of the story of Nazi depopulation. Scientific extermination reaches its most pitiless aspects in the Slavic and East Baltic states, which Hitler has relegated to the lowest position in his hierarchy of races. Hitler wrote in Mein Kampf, Our eternal fate policy will remain an idle dream unless the planned policy of colonization and depopulation are carried out. The great danger for the white
and he choked. He's dead. Dies all of a sudden. Disease? He was from the ghetto. They say there's typhus there. Typhus? Yep. I keep trying to get away, but I can't. I don't like being with typhus. There's no use trying. You can't move. You must be going north. It's getting cold. I'm shivering. It wouldn't be so cold if you had something to eat. They gave me some bread when I came. I waited in the station two days. Every day they gave me bread. One piece. That's the worst you have to have water. Stop it. Already? And we're not going to the right. Maybe I was in a concentration camp. It's better than this. You can, can find things to eat. They're coming. What are we going to do? Everybody stay down. Take the wheel off. Out. And stop anything else to throw out the dead. Are there any dead here? Steve, are there any dead here? Just one. No. How did he die? Don't tell. What was that? I just said he just died. Hmm. Disease? No. He thought. The others killed him. Good. Come on out. If he knew it was disease, he would have killed him. Where did you think we were going? To the right? To the right. Since the beginning, the Nazi solution of the Polish and Jewish problems along the new eastern frontier has been much the same. The greater part of Poland is to be German and is being provided with a new set of German landlords. The Germans need, however, Polish laborers to operate their estates. But this number is far smaller than the existing population, so the surplus has been hurried out of the country. There has been no adequate attempt to provide food, shelter, or employment for these people. They've been dying like flies. This, of course, is what the Nazis want. It reapportions the population along lines more agreeable to them. It gives the Germans slave labor. And if Hitler's victory is permanent, this slave labor will permit him to undersell every other country in the world. Fantastic? Unbelievable? No, not at all. The best evidence of all is in the writings and speeches of Adolf Hitler himself. In Hermann Rothstein's book, The Voice of Destruction, on page 137, we find the following speech by Adolf Hitler. We are obliged to depopulate as part of our mission of preserving this earth and population. We shall have to develop the technique of depopulation. If you ask me what I mean by depopulation, I mean the removal of entire racial units. And that what I intend to carry out. If I can send this flower of the German nation into war without the smallest pity for the spilling of precious sound and blood, then surely I have the right to remove millions of an inferior race that please my farmers. You can't do business with Hitler. You have been listening to the fifth broadcast in the series entitled You Can't Do Business with Hitler, based on the experiences of Douglas Miller, who was for 15 years commercial attaché to the American Embassy in Berlin. Listen for the sixth episode in the series, which is entitled The Spoils of Europe. Douglas Miller reveals the Nazi technique of plundering and looting conquered land. This transcribed program, written by Elwood Hoffman and directed by Frank Telford, was brought to you by the radio section of the Office for Emergency Management in Washington.